Hello, this is Lance Danger, and I'm here to talk about issue number one of Batman from the New 52. Now, this is an issue that came out with the creative team of Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo, Jonathan Glapion on inks, and FCO Placenza on colors, with Snyder and Capullo being writer and artist respectively. And this issue starts off with the blurb of Gotham Is, which is a play into a article that's run constantly in the Gotham Gazette where the habitants of Gotham City would finish off that sentence. They would like send in their suggestions finishing off that sentence and there's this contrast and comparison of the different answers that the city inhabitants would give like comparing the city to the villains or Batman himself and that kind of comes into play later on not just into this issue but later on in this series as well but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. The story starts with Batman breaking into Arkham Asylum and it turns out that he is trying to free the Joker and when he finds the Joker they start fighting alongside each other to get out of Arkham. Now it is later on revealed that spoiler alert in case anybody that hasn't read this uh, storyline called The Court of Owls, which was the first main storyline of this Batman comic series. It turns out that it was Dick Grayson that was working undercover and had been there undercover for days trying to find out information about an employee at Arkham that was taking bribe money as well. So that pretty much played into the transition into the next scene with Batman and James Gordon on the rooftop of the police station where they're talking about the incident at Arkham. Of course he doesn't divulge that Dick Grayson was posing as the Joker that led to a kind of funny moment between them but again I don't want there are some things I don't want to get into per se so I don't take the enjoyment out of reading it for you or anything like that like I will like say some spoilers occasionally but it's more to present the proper context of the review. Now we transition from there into the Batcave, an absolutely beautiful shot by Greg Capullo of the Batcave and some things that are there and it's interesting to notice that in that transition where we see Dick Grayson appear taking off his EMP mask which he was still wearing of the Joker, some good banter between himself and Bruce Wayne we see the other two Bat family members, Tim Drake and Bruce Wayne's son, Damian Wayne, appear. They're getting ready for this announcement that Bruce Wayne is going to make later on about investments that Bruce Wayne is going to make in the city to pretty much fix up the city and whatnot. And the interesting thing is that in the edition I have, it's a first edition and there's a small error there in the blurb that introduced Tim Drake. He was described as a former Robin, which of course in the New 52 continuity, he was never a Robin. He was always just yes, Red Robin in the New 52 continuity. So that was kind of interesting that the editors didn't catch up on that flub. but. They did eventually, and in later editions and trade paperbacks, they corrected that. We also see Vicky Vale enter the scene, which is, of course, the reporter for the Gotham Gazette. And I was excited when she appeared, but because I really like that character, one of my all-time favorite Batman stories is Return of Scarface, written by Alan Grant with artwork by Norm Brayfogle. That was a great little three-part story back in the 90s anyone who hasn't read it if you get a chance to read it I highly recommend it but I digress I was later on going to be a bit disappointed that Vicky Vale really didn't have much of an impact throughout the series at all if I'm not mistaken this is pretty much the only time she appears in the Batman series and we're also introduced to Lincoln March who is trying to run for mayor in for of Gotham City and talking of of course with Bruce Wayne and they have a 
good little back and forth until Bruce Wayne notices coming um, James Gordon about to leave and of course that leads to Bruce changing into Batman and going to a murder scene where Harvey Bullock is there already and they have an interesting back and forth as well Harvey Bullock being the more rough and gruff gritty cop that he is and this is where they first mentioned the court of owls because the corpse that's found has throwing knives stuck all over his body missing all his major arteries pretty much trying to keep him as alive as long as possible to torture him and the tip of the throwing knives have these owl marks on it so that leads to Bullock suggesting the Court of Owls but Batman pretty much stopping him in his tracks because he does not believe the Court of Owls exist. They, Batman does find some DNA underneath the nail of this corpse which he takes and sends the information to the Batcave where it's revealed that the DNA actually belongs to Dick Grayson and there's also a message on the wall written with this liquid from Pink Center that the deceased person had left behind. A message that when Batman sniffs the uh, chemical, he takes uh, Harvey Bullock's cigar and lights it up. And there's a message saying Bruce Wayne will die tomorrow, which they come to the conclusion that the corpse knew he was going to die specifically and that and that he was going to be found spe on a specific day and warning when Bruce Wayne was going to be murdered and as the DNA sample is sent to the back cave it comes back with a match for Dick Grayson and of course the issue ends with the blur playing on the previous Gotham is and it ends saying that because above everything Gotham is a mystery and that's a pretty nice little cliffhanger at the end of that issue now the writing was fantastic for issue number one there was a lot of great dialogue in this issue between the Bat family and it set up the story very very well and introduced new characters as well and it was a great little story it was greatly paced Greg Capullo's art was just on point and like throughout the rest of the series it was really one of the highlights of his artistic career it was really really good and I would have to say that out of five stars I would give issue number one of Batman from the new 52 run I would give it a solid five out of five it was highly entertaining great dialogue great pacing and of course spectacular artwork from greg capullo well that will be it for issue number one thank you for listening and hope you stay tuned for the review of issue number two